we're going to show you how we made some watercolor borders or frames for our Instax Mini Polaroid prints. We love to use Instax Mini cameras. We have a couple of them lying around our home and our kids love to use them. I love to use them. I love photo booths and anything that can give me a printed cute photo or photo strip. I'm sold. I will always be the one running towards that machine at the mall or wherever you see them. I don't really go to the mall, but you know. Anyways, um, you can use any size of photo for this project. You can do an Instax Mini Polaroid. You can do a regular size Polaroid or large one. There's different options for Polaroids these days and Polaroid cameras. You can do 3x5, 5x7, any kind of photo print really. But we catered this project to the Instax Mini Polaroid prints because we use them so much. And Polaroid did create some film that you can pre-buy that has designs and different color schemes. I like to do these because it gives me the ability to uniquely make each print how I want it and I love to use paint, I love to use watercolor and the kids can use markers, crayons, whatever they want to deck it out and make it personal. It's also good if you're doing these for gifts for your friends and you want to uniquely create each one or for party favors or party decor, kids party, anything. You can use them for a lot of things. The way that this project idea came about is we do a community outreach project once a month at a women and children's shelter and we love to do family fun creative night with them which i've actually evolved into a diy but a craft and dessert and we were there last month and noticed that they're really creative really talented the moms and the kids and they had a lot of fun when given the tools to just be free creatively and I was thinking, what should we do for March? And since they had loved the Polaroid camera that we had brought just as a side thing to do last time, I wanted to do something centered around Polaroid prints and set up a photo booth and then little stations for each of them to watercolor their borders. And we brought pre-cut watercolor frames. I cut a hundred of these out by hand and it was so worth it. And every cut, even my arm got sore, I was like, it's gonna be so worth it and it was. We had an amazing team come and set up little watercolor stations and and the photo booth and they took the Polaroid and painted their frames and then once it was dry they got to stick them onto their Polaroids and they have a memory of, of creating this with us and, and we have memories as well. It was awesome to see even the moms say, oh I have not painted in so many years and just to watch them intricately sit and spend almost two hours, some of them, just painting beautiful flowers and beautiful patterns and words like hope and love and whatever came to mind, it was beautiful. It's amazing to think of the project, get the tools ready, and then see it come to life. And it almost makes me, it makes me really emotional. Every single time there's just this feeling and then seeing who makes them and even you guys. We love to see your creations and see it all come to life. So seriously, go ahead and hashtag AllKidsDIY when you do make these so we know and we can see and even give, give us feedback too about what didn't work or what you think works better. We're always open to that as well. So the supplies that you'll need are We also love this project because you don't need a ton of supplies for it, which is always a plus and it's just simple and you can get really creative. This is my favorite. So have a blast making these in your classroom or home or for a craft for your kids or a kid's party or an adult party too. Have a blast making them. We can't wait to see what you've come up with. The first thing you're gonna do is choose the photos that you wanna work with. Next, you're going to pick the first photo that you want to work with and get your watercolor paper out. Then you're going to start at the corner of your watercolor paper and grab your ruler, then make a border that goes around your image. We're going to do half an inch wide. You can do it as wide as you would like.
After that, this next measurement is going to be a little more exact, especially if you're using a Polaroid photo. You're going to start marking all the way around, edge to edge of your image, basically showcasing what you want to be framed. This will create a little window to show your image once you're done. Once you're done marking all of your border points, you're going to take your ruler and extend the lines so that each point is connected. You'll then be left with a rectangle shape on your paper which you're going to cut out. You can use scissors, I like to use X-Acto knife and a ruler method. You'll need a cutting mat for this, so if you're going to use scissors to do this, go for it. If you're going to join me in using the X-Acto knife and ruler method, let's do this and make our lines extra sharp. And there you go, you have a window that your photo will show through. You can continue making your way around, cutting out the outside border of your frame. If you're making multiple frames, all you have to do is take your first one and use it as a stencil to outline your lines. Then cut as many as you'll be needing. Now get your watercolor paints out. I'll be using this kind today. I really want to see how they mix and how these colors work together. But you can use a more primary color palette like this as well. Or one with more options like this very loved one our kids use every week in our house. Once you have your paints, you can set up your painting station. These are the prints that we want to work with today. I'm excited to see how we work with the textures and colors and see what we come up with.
once I had my background color down, I really wanted to add some fun dots to bring out the colors in the plants and the print, and so I went ahead and did that. Also, I just love patterns and polka dots and lines anywhere I can add them. By the way, how incredible is my son's frame looking? Our kids always blow me away with their incredible artistic abilities. When your frames are dry, you can attach your prints to them. We're just going to turn ours around and use some washi tape to make this happen. There you go, you're all done. We ended up making several frames for prints that we wanted to get creative with and display. Here's our dog. He's loving modeling for us. I just love the artistic textures and different emotions you can feel through each of these photos and how creative and artistic they are. We displayed our creations by making a string garland on the wall and we think they look beautiful. You can display them however you'd like or you can give them away and spread the creative love. Thank you for watching our video and thank you for trying out our DIY for these watercolor frames. We hope you made some awesome memories with these and we can't wait to see them. Remember to hashtag all kids DIY so that we can see what you've done and if you have any feedback of what worked, what didn't, what you did that worked better, we'd love to hear that too. Have a great week or weekend whenever you're watching. If you didn't start a spontaneous dance party because you didn't get the memo last video, then start one. See you for our next video. If you wanna be updated right away, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Bye. I completely forgot what I was going to say. I'm gonna start this again, okay? Cut. Action. Is it this way or is it, is it like a more flat, like this? Then directly. Wait, my head should be up. Cut. Action. I've seen it in the movies, that's it.